Frank, when the deal with BT and Box Nation was announced, you called it a new, new era for boxing. Why is that? Well, because it's going to make it more competitive. Um, it's great for the boxers, but more importantly, it's great for the fans because the fans have a choice and the fans will get bigger fights and uh, competitive fights, I hope, and there'll be more competition. That's what, that's what in any business you're, you're involved with, it's all about competition and this is the best competition. And the most important thing, as I've just said, it's great for the fans. And also Box Nation subscribers, they're getting even more up for their dollar. They're the fans, aren't they? They will do, yeah. They're gonna, we're obviously, uh, we've got a bigger budget to play with, which means we can go for bigger fights. We'll be doing pay-per-view events as well. Um, we, for, for, any, for boxers, we're a one-stop shop, you know, from turning professional right way through to becoming a big star and, and getting onto a play, pay-per-view platform. We can deliver that. And the exposure that the boxers will get with our uh, deal with BT means that they... they, they reach a, a far bigger audience than anybody else can offer them in this country. Another thing, although there will be world championship fights, one thing, one of your great strengths and years as, as a promoter is building fighters up from nothing and making them champions. Is that something you'll be looking to do even more? Well, of course, and we've got a lot of youngsters at the moment who I think are not far off of, of stepping up to, to that level. Um, we've got various degrees of show. There'll be the, you know, the York Hall, small, small Hall type of shows that we'll be doing around the country. Uh, we'll be doing 10 specific shows on Box Nation for them. There'll be the 20 shows that'll be, that'll be simul broad, sim simultaneously broadcast between Box Nation and BT, uh, which will be um, quite significant fights. Um, so bringing the youngsters through is not going to be a problem now. Gonna be, we've got more shows. We're, we're, we will be the busiest promoters in Europe. We'll be doing them a minimum of 30 shows a year, plus pay-per-view. And also with, with these young boxers, are there any out there that stand out who could become mainstream stars in the next two to three years? We've got quite a few there who I like, and you know we're we're bringing through. I don't want to get just sort of get into a big list now because obviously, uh, you know, you can go on and you might upset upset people you don't put them. But then we've got a great we've got some great youngsters coming through, and starting in 2017, a couple of months away, we'll be announcing some significant fights and these youngsters will be all being stepped up and pushed into a position where they'll be fighting for these titles. We, we've got great talent and it has been one of certainly you know our great or my my sort of forte is developing stars and bringing them through. Well that's what we're doing now and you look at you know the other side of the street most of the fighters they've had have been fighters that have come through our system and we've you know we've we've developed but now there's no need to be Bamboozled about you get more exposure if you're boxing on Sky because that's a fallacy now. You get if you were looking for exposure, you'll get more exposure because we've got a bigger customer reach than Sky TV. And while you've got plenty of upcoming prospects, there's also it's also the one-stop shop in the UK if you like for overseas stars. The overseas shows are going to get even bigger and better. It looks. Right. We, do, we do you know 30 to 40 of those a year. We've got um, output deals with Top Rank, with Golden Boy, and other promoters. And we're looking for, you know, to put on, the, as we've always done, the biggest fights. I mean, you know, if it wasn't for us, you wouldn't have seen the early days of Golovkin and Mayweathers and all these guys. You know, they all featured on, on, on Box Nation. That's where you've, you've seen them. So now, again, they're going to get a bigger audience because, uh, obviously, uh, the, you know, the channel will be carried now for BT subscribers. They'll get it as part of their bundle, which obviously BT will get, will go into. So it's, it's fantastic news for boxing fans. Can Box Nation get even bigger, perhaps expand abroad? Well, of course it could. That's, that's been our, our objective. But first of all, we had to establish ourselves here. It was a large, uh, you know, a long haul. You know, I, I was reading a couple of the uh, reports last week and they said, you know, um, that, that basically that Sky had got rid of us and give her the, the dates, which wasn't the case. I walked away from a contract that I had with Sky because I was very disappointed what was happening. And I decided that I wanted to put my... Uh, future in my own hands, not in the hands of you know, or the whims of a of um, a channel that can decide whether they want to spend money on your sport or spend it all on football, and you know, depending on which way the wind blows, and and that's why I left at the time. And uh, I think we've been right in what we've done. It's been a long haul. It's been very, it's been financially very difficult. It's been tough all round, but we had a good team around us and good people who supported us. You know, and good, good, you know, good staff. All you guys, you've all been brilliant, helping to make it work, and and now we're reaping the re rewards. And it w the objective was was to get to Box Nation to get a big, you know, to get us out there on a bigger platform. Well, we've done that. We have a bigger platform than Sky. Box Nation has a bigger platform than Sky. It has it can reach more viewers 
than Sky, Sky, Sky Boxing can. So for me, that's a job well done. And obviously, we'll be looking to expand abroad. We are in, con we're in uh, discussions at the moment with um, a few other people in, in various countries, and we'll be looking to do that. But the most fo first and foremost is to make sure 2017 is a year where we establish ourselves, establish this relationship, and then the following years, because it's a long-term deal, that we come through delivering the, the fights and become uh, the best. Because at the end of the day, we are boxing through and through. That's what we've done. That's what I've done for 40 years now. So I know what I like. I know what I, li I enjoy doing. I like the challenge better than anybody. I'm a competitive sod by nature. So it's another day for us, to, another another opportunity to us to, to you know, demonstrate to the world what we can do as promoters and more importantly what um, Box Nation and what BT can do as a, a partnership delivering us. And you say you love the challenge. How big a challenge is this to <coughs> make this work even better than it has on for you on Box Nation? Well, it's a big challenge for me. You know, I, you know, let's sort of blow my own trumpet. I established boxing on ITV. I established boxing on 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 Sky. You know, with Sam Chisholm days, I, I did the big deal that took everybody there. And I established the, you know, with Sky only had four million subscribers, and I established boxing on Satanta, delivering the big fights. Um, this to me is a much, much um, bigger, bigger challenge, and in as much that it's the reach that you've got, the audience that you can get to. You know, BT has a significant amount of customers who watch their their TV, and also they have a significant amount of customers who uh, can reach the channel via their mobile apps. EE is part of BT, so. You know, it's, it's a huge audience that we can we can reach, and it's a huge, huge audience that, which I believe a lot of them are boxing fans, and I believe a lot of them will like what we're doing, and that's what I'm saying. This is what it's about. It's a new era because it's a new, it's an it's, it's us again being innovative. Always been like that, you know. When we go back to the pay-per-view days, go back to the um, you know the closed circuit TV. I've been involved in all of that over the years. We've always been innovative. You know, I remember when I got into boxing, it was scratchy old 78 records we brought the music into it the, the advertising on the canvas changed all that sort of stuff which you know is now seems to be the norm um but now we're we're moving past that we're now you know into a different era we are we are bringing the box into you to the subscriber you you can watch this you've got it you can watch it on your app on your phone you can watch our shows and finally frank you just briefly just give viewers an insight into what these deals are like when you're trying to make them, how long they take? It's taken us a couple of years. I mean, you know, we've been working very hard under very difficult circumstances. You know, very, but during that period of time, and, you know, I've not been spending 100% of my time on promotion and managing boxes. I've, I've had to spend a lot of time also with my sons and, and uh, Gareth Jones and the rest of the team working on um, building a channel and keeping a channel going. So that's been difficult. Now I can focus. 100% on the boxing, doing what I like doing. I can focus on that and do that. Um, this has been a result of a lot of hard work and a lot of faith that we put into our own ability and faith that we put that, that people have put into us. You know, despite all that, we've made and generated, we've still found our world champions and guided people into great positions to win world titles. You know, and uh, <clears throat> now we'll be able to, we'll be able to, um, I think give a better service to the boxers.